Well, hi everyone, it's Jason Pettis. I'm doing this video as part of a series of customized bike maps that I've created for use in both Google Maps and Google Earth. If you're having trouble finding those maps over at Google itself, you can always go by the little main list at my personal site for all those maps, which of course is found right there at the bottom of your screen. Uh, so, hey, it's uh, Saturday night here on the north side of the city. Uh, I'm uh, here in front of the Music Box Theater on South Ford Avenue. Uh, it's the 4th of July weekend, as a matter of fact. My friend Tom is throwing a party down at his place. Uh, he lives near Chicago and Milwaukee, an old industrial section of the city that's starting to become more residential. Uh, the only problem is uh, it's about five miles away from my place, which makes it expensive for a taxi, uh, and it's difficult to get there through public transportation. you got to take the train all the way down to Chicago Avenue, then sometimes wait up to a half an hour for the stupid Crosstown bus just to take you a couple miles. Um, thankfully, though, the city makes it very easy to get there through bicycle uh, through a number of different lanes. Uh, inner city mark exclusive bike paths uh, that they have here in the city. Uh, here's one of them right now, as a matter of fact, on Southport Avenue. We're going to be taking this uh, for the first half of our trip tonight down to Tom's place, uh, about two and a half miles altogether uh, down that street. Um, there are over a hundred miles of these paths uh, around in the city right now as we speak. More are getting added every single week here. Uh, and this is not even to mention the uh, lakefront bike path, uh, the nature trail that goes the entire length of the city. Uh, and that doesn't have any car traffic either uh, for anyone who's a little skittish about getting on these streets on a Saturday night with all those uh, crazy motorists out there. Um, like I said, uh, uh, we're on Southport Avenue right now. Uh, we're in what uh, I guess you could call sort of a, a creative class neighborhood. Uh, it's full of youngish people, uh, a lot of them that work downtown in creative fields. There's a lot of entrepreneurialism that takes place uh, here. Uh, uh, in this neighborhood, a lot of uh, fashion boutiques and restaurants and pubs and things along those lines. Uh, I'm going to be shooting some of that tonight as we make our way uh, down the street here. Uh, I'm going to cut it all together with a little music. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and then halfway through, we're going to stop for a drink, and then uh, we're going to get onto a very different kind of urban path for the rest of the trip. Uh, I, I, I thank you for sticking in there. I hope you enjoyed this little montage that's coming up right now. And as promised, uh, we're halfway through the trip now, and I'm stopping in for a drink uh, here at a place called Maeve. Maeve? I, it's a Gaelic term, so I, I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. Uh, we are just one block away from Southport, which is what we've been riding on, uh, and we're just uh, near Fullerton, uh, near where Southport ends. Uh, I'm not affiliated with this bar in any way, but I, I love it nonetheless because it represents to me something that I think is uh, uh, really indicative of living here on the north side. Uh, as you can see, it's just a little small place. It's made out of a residential uh, building. As a matter of fact, I'm sure these are apartments right above it. Um, and it's in the middle of a residential neighborhood. These are all places where people live. Nice, uh, quiet, interesting neighborhood. Uh, this is enough that a... Um, 
couple with a small business loan to put it together and run it. Uh, and it's very typical, I think, of the north side living and why people love living up here so much. Uh, in fact, this is not uh, uh, original at all uh, to this, uh, uh, even to this intersection. Right across the street is another place uh, called Tavish, almost just like it, even with outdoor seating and everything. And then that just goes on uh, to more residential neighborhoods down there. Um, it, 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 it's like this all over the north side, uh, a, a, a fun place to go bicycling and just go out and have a drink and things along those lines. Uh, and in case you're worried about uh, parking uh, on a weekend night of your bicycle, uh, don't be. Uh, the city has, believe it or not, over 12,000 of these bike racks now installed and more coming every week. Uh, it makes it perfectly safe uh, for you to take your bicycle around. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go in, have a little drink, and then we're going to be on our way again for a very different second half of our trip down to Tom's Clutch. Well, welcome back, everyone. Uh, we're ready to start the second half of the trip down to my friend Tom's place at Chicago, Milwaukee. Uh, we're here uh, uh, entering a very different part of the path now. Uh, we were on South Fork, the fun little tree line, boutique, pub, trade class kind of section of the city. Uh, once you get down here closer to the loop, though, the bike paths start getting a lot more like this, a lot more industrial in nature, uh, and uh, we're, we're actually in the uh, sort of last section of the north side uh, to actually have a large industrial section. That's where we just came down. This is a very tricky section of the city, by the way, for your bicycling. Do make sure to uh, check out a Chicago map before you uh, try to make it down here. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go for the rest of the three miles of our trip today uh, on Elston Avenue, which is very much like this, very industrial, full of factories, things like that. We're sharing the street with trucks, and it can be a little intimidating, but I, I think it's going to go okay today. Uh, and as you can see, we're actually uh, pretty close to the loop at this point. Those are all skyscrapers down in downtown that you're looking at there. Uh, we're going to end very close to there tonight, as a matter of fact, so uh, I hope you stick in for all that. Uh, all right, off again. And guess what, uh, guess what everyone, uh, I finally made it down here. Uh, I'm here at my friend Tom's place. Uh, say hi to uh, everyone, Tom. Greetings, greetings everyone. How are you doing? It's good to have Jason here safely, finally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even with the stop for the beer tonight, it was only about 45 minutes. Uh, if I hadn't stopped, it would have been about 25 minutes. And uh, I'm a really slow bicycler, so it should take most people uh, only maybe 15 or 20 minutes. Um, that is significantly faster than taking the train and the bus down here. On a Saturday night, definitely. four or five times faster yeah, sometimes. So, uh, don't forget, this is only halfway through the video. We still got a whole ride home ahead of us uh, later tonight. We're taking a different route and going to do sort of a ride and... and bike and ride situation there over to the red line. Right, so, excellent. Uh, but uh, get a couple more of these in me first before we head out. We'll take and and I do you. want to officially note, by the way, <laughs> to celebrate the <laughs> oh, fourth, yeah. I am having a hot dog wrapped in bacon. <laughs> <laughs> 
Tom, I swear to God, you're going to kill me. Totally true. Totally true. <laughs> See you in a bit, everyone. Take care.